Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently in the middle of a war but I noticed this when I was zooming in. Apparently I missed this at some point. We're going to deal with that. Are there any others that we missed here? Not that I can see. Cool. Okay, so we're going to head down over this way of course and we need to attempt to peace out other people. So we know that there's a Majapahit Island here and here. We're going to work on that. We are, for the moment, not particularly interested in working on... All oh right, we got that dealt with. Uh, we're heading up to Tondo. Yes, this looks good. Ish. Good-ish. The Navy up here doesn't necessarily look great, but for now, it's okay. We're not worried about Revolutionary Tidor at this moment. We want to piece out Majapahit and Tondo next, and we're going to target Imarina after that. Of course, we do have a significant chunk of Imarina attacked over here, or not over here, over here. There we go. A significant chunk of them attacked there, so that'll be great. We can continue to work on our conversions, of course, and we're working on our coring as well, so that'll be fine. Now, the question is, how much of Majapahit can we actually take? Can we take all of it? Oh, they're a vassal. They can't sign a separate peace treaty. I didn't realize that. Noted. So that's going to significantly limit how much we can take out of this. If we want the full annexation of Majapahit, that alone is going to take 60% of what we want. Now we definitely want to clean up areas like this and areas like this. For sure. That's 94% of what we can take. Right there. Now, Tondo, we can separate piece, and we will. We could take like this. It's not nearly as much as I'd hoped, because I didn't realize that these were all vassals, but it'll do. It'll do. So like I said, we can definitely take large chunks of Tondo. We are going to need this navy up here so that we can get around. There we go. Cool. And from here, let's go ahead and spread out our forces a little bit. Something like that. Okay. Let's cap back some of these areas. And let's get this capped. We should have... Okay, Armenian, Brazil, Peasants, Bruneian, Cascadian. Who are you? Okay. Don't care about you. Fantastic. So back over here. And Imarina is a vassal as well. Yeah, that's deeply unfortunate. I would really like to be able to take over all of Imarina's territory. Which I believe is just this here. And this up here. So that's going to be tough. I mean, this right here is already 2,000 in terms of our... That's actually a whole lot. That's a whole, whole lot. Now, one thing we could do is back off on this. Which actually saves us like 600. And go for Imarina instead. That is quite a lot cheaper, in theory. Although we still don't get this one. We'd have to back off of like one Majapahit holding. Or back off of, say, that. I don't like it. But it is functional. We definitely want to go after Tondo first. There's no doubt about this one. Okay. We sunk the Tondo in flagship. Hilarious. And these guys can make their way... I mean, I'd like to go up over here. We could go around, in theory. And start a siege there. They do have 49k. I think we don't win that. Realistically. Unless we put in, like, this leader. Which we'll go ahead and do. I don't care about this, really. Okay. So, I definitely don't love what we're looking at here in terms of how much we're going to actually get. I don't love that. We're also going to need to spend down our diplomatic power a little bit. Let's go ahead and do so. Bringing this down at least to around 700. 
Okay. That'll do. Yeah, that's definitely very awkward. But we'll work on getting these sieges done. And of course, there's this area of Tondo that we didn't actually take. Let's go ahead and take that right now. Beautiful. So we knew that we weren't going to be able to take everything of theirs, right? That was always going to be the case. Let's go ahead and bring this fleet in. And let's attach to transport. And then bring them out over here. Helps if I have the navy selected. There we go. Okay, and now I want to head up over there, like so. Okay, that all looks good. We don't need the prestige. So it's an offer. We'll go ahead and attack Sumba. And this is all looking absolutely fine. Actually, not as fine as I thought. Okay, those are completely okay. But what I'm saying for not as fine as I thought is we've got these peasants over here. We're going to have to send one of our forces here, and it's going to be the one with the leader. We're going to hit like this, and we're going to bring these guys over as well. Cool. So we're at 27% war score right now. We're going to need more war score. That's very clear. So we're going to head in over this way. And prepare to continue to push in. I want to take out these rebels. We won the Siege of Mindoro, which means that we, in theory, can push up to Tondo proper here. Good. So we're making some progress on all of that. Shoshon Separatists and Korean Californian Separatists. I don't really care about either of those, so that's good. We won the Siege of Cebu as well, so let's just head on up. Tondo is going to fall soon. Don't care about this rebellion either. That's completely okay. And we're just banking admin power at this point. We're definitely going to need it. We know for an absolute fact that we're going to need it. We're going to have these guys come here. These guys come down over this way to help out in case we uh, end up needing some help against revolutionary Tondo over here. We're definitely going to need more war score. That is clear. So let's go ahead and get another conversion going. Let's send these guys down for war score. Hilariously, we're fighting rebels up here. Cool. So Tondo will be done soon. How much will it cost us to core all of Tondo? Can we even take all of Tondo? We cannot. This is what we can take. That'll cost us 380. Noted. Well, that'll be fine. We can't take all of Tondo, but we can get a good chunk. And we're definitely going to have an admin deficit. So we don't necessarily mind that it's going to take us a while. We'll continue to push down this direction. Okay. We probably don't care about any of these revolts. Right? I mean, eventually we might care about some of them, but... For right now, we don't. Yeah. For right now, we don't. How are we doing on that core? We only have the one working right now. Okay, it's almost 50% done. We won the Siege of Manila. And that means that we can pour all of these resources into sieging Tondo. At this point. So that sounds good. And we can't push forward over here just yet. So let's head on over this way for the time being. And these guys, they're going to push in. Beautiful. So that'll be great. And we're at 42% on that siege up there. No problem there. The siege of Tondo is actually already over. And now we're just going to hit up over here. Would Tondo accept this peace deal? Not now. Okay. I'm watching this battle. The things are looking pretty well for us. Our discipline is way better than theirs, as are our military tactics. 
Interesting. That said, if they wanted to, they could bring these forces in and defeat us here. For right now, they've chosen not to, for some reason that I cannot explain. It's very strange. Okay, so we're going to head out over here. I don't want to attack here just yet, I don't think. Let's let these forces regenerate a little bit. We may even want to bring in reinforcements. Potentially. We're 51% here, and this is at minus 28%. Uh, Tondo, do you want out of this war yet? Not quite. Okay. So Tondo is not quite into that yet. And we can see they have a large amount of troops here. Almost 300k. So I would like to bring in another fleet worth. And realistically, that'll be these guys. That'll be Tondo when this is all done. So we're going to move up to here at this point and blockade Tondo. Religion in Barris has converted to Sunni. Well, that's rude. That's very rude. Morale of armies plus 15%. That's pretty huge. That's really huge, actually. So we won this siege, and now we're going to move these guys in. I'm not sure if we can make it in before this battle happens. No. But we, of course, win the battle. Cool. And let's go ahead and have these three all embark. And we're going to bring them on down to here. Excellent. I don't care about this revolt. However, Tondo at this point should be able to be pieced out. And indeed they can. So we'll take whatever we can here, realistically. Which is pretty much just this. Cool. And that'll cost us 380 to core. We'll get all of that going. Our overextension is currently at 100%. But now we need to work up enough to get this. Ideally. Actually, I can see that we can get Lombok as well. Can we maybe get something more useful? Because this is kind of awkwardly placed. The answer is... I don't think so. I mean, we could take some Australian bits if we wanted to have a uh, presence, presence on Australia. We could do something like this. That would give us a good chunk of the South Pacific. A good chunk indeed. Of course, they wouldn't accept this right now. They have 141 reasons not to. We need to seize their capital, right? Where is their capital? This is their capital. Okay. We can definitely make a play for that later. For the time being, we're waiting for our reinforcements to come in here. I definitely want the missionary strength here, I think. Yeah, we should be okay. So our fleet comes in with the additional forces, and we're now going to walk into East Timor. Now, they have a good amount of forces themselves. We're going to get a crossing penalty, but we should easily win this, especially with that 15% morale increase. Although these guys got there a lot faster than anyone else. But it's okay. We appear to be fine. So they're going to retreat. And they're going to retreat this direction. That's a guarantee. We can leave behind one army here. And I'm going to leave this one. Since they're quite weak. And we're going to bring the rest of our forces up to West Timor. And we're going to hope to stack wipe them here. This is going to do a lot of damage to them if we stack wipe. I'm a little shocked they didn't instantly stack wipe there. They're going to go back, though, and this battle will happen on 19 March. That should also stack wipe. Let's just try to guarantee it. Okay. 
It did stack wipe. Perfect. So we're going to bring in these ships, as well as these ones. And we're going to prepare for an invasion of their capital. Okay. We're going to walk over here, and we can embark, at this point, six of these. So one, two, three, four, five. And then these guys will embark as well as soon as they arrive. Six. There we go. Now we're going to head up over here. Because I want to hit their capital. That is our goal. So all of these guys are arriving here now. And in we go. Fantastic. Now we did leave a few units behind here. That's to be expected. And those units are probably going to come and attack, like, over here, or we, we probably don't even need that many over there. I mean, we don't need this many up here, right? So, that's definitely something. Okay. So, we'll be attacking here shortly, and their capital will fall. That will get ticking war score on our side. So, this will immediately jump us up by 22, I think. That's how Europa ticking works, right? I know that's how Crusader King's ticking works. Okay, we're going to come back over this way to East Timor. And we're going to look to invade a few other locations here. So we're going to take these guys. How many armies do we have here? We have four. So we're going to attach two of them. And we're going to come down over this way. Now we're going to take the other two. And we're going to embark them. And those are going to make their way up over here. Cool. Bruneian Separatists? Oh, up over here. Sure. I didn't even notice those, but that's fine. We will pop a leader in over here. I'll actually roll one. That's fine. And we'll see what we get up over here. Cool. So these guys can definitely begin to land here. We also lost our advisor, which is deeply unfortunate. We should we could go for missionary strength here. Uh, not an accepted culture, not accepted, not accepted, and not accepted. That is really unfortunate. Okay, what do we got here? None of these are accepted. Right, because we just didn't fire them. Got it. So, Tidor has now fallen. That jumps us up to 71% war score. Now, we need this to wrap up. And these guys to come in here. Which they will eventually. There we go. Because we need to come up over here and attack like so. Excellent. So this is what we want. Oh, there's this over here. We'll have to deal with that. And then there's these guys down here as well that we are going to be landing here. And we'll have to use the boats as a crossing here. But that's fine. We will need to deal with this, this unit over here. So that's definitely a thing that needs to happen. We did finish up a core there, though. So that is a big deal. That we already got one of our cores from this war done. We're going to head down and attack these guys. Actually, mm, they're pretty strong. We'll give it a go. We'll just keep an eye on that. So from here, we'll use these guys to cross over to there. I do want to deal with this situation. Okay. We do have this call for peace happening. Yeah, this is a little grim over here. So I'm going to retreat these guys. And we'll try that again in a bit. We can continue to convert. Which we will definitely do. This is down to 99 in value now. Which means we can grab another chunk of Australia. I like it. So we're going to continue to push up over here. I'm going to use these guys to explore this Terra Incognita as well. Okay. Awkwardness is ensuing over this way. I'm going to grab... 
this fleet as soon as we're done traveling here. There we go. Almost. There we go. We're going to head in to port here. And we can get three of these embarked. These are going to come down. And first things first, we're going to reinforce over here. Cool. And you can enter port. There we go. Cool. So how many reasons do they have for this right now? Minus 40. It's getting better. No doubt about that. We're going to continue to push down this way. Revolutionary T-Door is pretty crushed at this point, to be honest. There's not a lot that they can do. We have arrived over here now, and we're going to walk in and deal with these Majapahit peasants. Totemus Zealots. Shio Zealots. Um, yeah, that's just this guy. Okay, no problem. There is a plan in place to deal with that. Can we go here without boats? No, we cannot. Noted. Okay, so these guys are going to cap back. We're going to move our ships back over here. I do see this 310 fleet here. It's a bit spooky. And then we're going to use these guys to invade here. Cool. We're going to continue to press down over this direction. We're capping back over here. That's all coming back to us. And at this point, they're at minus two reasons for accepting this. That's kind of huge, actually. Only minus two. That is not very many reasons. I expected it to still be higher. Cool. So things are going to be awkward for us over here for a while, I think. Tondoan Separatists? That we're probably going to have to deal with. Yes, indeed, we will. They still wouldn't quite accept this. Now they have 18 reasons. Okay. Uh, let's refresh this. There we go. Got it. So. We just got a lot of territory there. Our overextension is going to be really, really high. That said, we can start cores on a lot of it right away. All of these guys are going to have to be moved to other locations. So you guys can go here. We're going to need additional forces on Brunei. These guys can remain on Majapahit. I definitely want to take these guys over to Brunei. And then I'm thinking these units are all going to head over to Tondo. So we're going to bring these guys over. Now, I don't have fleet basing rights here, so it's going to be slightly awkward. But we can come up over this way. Cool. And we definitely want to start coring, by the way. Let's sort by overextension. These are very expensive. But they're also a lot a lot of overextension. So we're going to get that started. Now we're 277% overextension. So we're definitely going to have a lot of rebels. And they're going to build up quite quickly. So that'll be fine. I do want to get these guys situated correctly. So I don't think we need all four of these units. In Tondo. I don't think that's going to be a thing. Yeah, I'm not surprised that these guys rebelled. We also had these guys rebel. I don't care about that one. But this one, uh, yeah, we're already on our way to deal with that mostly. So we're going to bring these guys out here and these guys out here. Uh, these. I think we'll leave B for the moment. Now we do have two units here currently. Or two ships. Right. These guys were intended to be taken to here. Okay. There we go. Sounds good. So, all of these guys are good-ish to go. We're going to take these up to here. I don't know if we'll get there in time to actually dock up like this. We'll see. Chinookan Separatists, we don't really care about that. We did get there in time. 
beautiful. Okay. So let's head up over this way now. Cool. Okay, and with that, it is... Oh yeah, we've got this over here. I, I uh, may have forgotten about that. We'll need to handle that one as well. So how do I want to handle that one? I think we're going to need to take at least one of these armies over to here. Okay, there we go. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will see about holding off the inevitable hordes of rebels. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazerol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Ken Twin, Atala, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.